welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Curry, and I am a proud graduate of the College of the Atlantic, 1995. I'm gonna take you on a really exciting trip that is part of the College of the Atlantic's initiative to create an energy efficient campus. My job is to put on a series of workshops interspersed with actual improvements on the college's pottery shed. Roughly two years ago, I did a an energy audit of all of the campus buildings to find out the best plan to create energy efficiency at the college. This is one of the first steps on that journey to create one of the greenest campuses, maybe on Earth. I'm en route, I live about two hours away we are headed to Bar Harbor, Maine, so hang on, faster seat belts, and get ready for some fun building efficiency stuff. I drive over that bridge onto Thompson Island, which is the small island before Mount Desert, I always feel like a part of me is coming home. the college's pottery studio um, that I'll be working on over the next few weeks and I'm a bit early so I can take a quick little tour of my old stomping ground which will be fun but I'll give you a quick view of this building okay Digital. 
digital micro manometer. The parts and pieces. It's an adjustable frame, and then there's this poor dirt sheet. <clears throat> there's a very large fan behind here. We're gonna create a negative pressure in the hole. So before we had this, this gradation of pressures going from negative all the way up to positive. We're gonna throw all that out, and we're gonna impose a negative pressure of 50 pascals in this building. So there are 833 That N stands for natural conditions, so that's under no pressure at all. That was a great first day. I had a ton of fun with those students. Such engaging questions, and they were very interested in not only the concepts and the fun part of it, but they were interested in the math. Can you believe it? All right, I'm back to college tomorrow, and I'm gonna be doing some gut work, some tear outs, so stay tuned. Tune in for tomorrow. In weather tonight, mostly cloudy with lows in the mid 20s to the mid 30s. Tomorrow, cloudy with some light rain and freezing to the mid 20s. Tomorrow, night rain with a chance of some snow mixing in. Tomorrow, night rain with a chance of some snow mixing in. Morning from the attic and welcome back to this exciting episode of Retrofit the Pottery Shed. Love to see this first thing in the morning. What the heck is that? Okay, the first step today, folks, is to get up into the attic. Spencer and I have set up a vacuum. I'll show you in a minute. All the way outside to a covered dumpster. And then there's this hose that goes all the way up into the attic. Are you ready? Are you ready? Pretty shortly after I emailed you that one time, and he just, it's just a barn, so you barely ever keep it. Gotcha. So, um, we just did fire with that again. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it wasn't worth the cost for the basically it's just a for our next trick Spencer and I are revealing all of the hidden cavities that aren't exposed so we dealt with the attic now we're opening up uh, taking off the window trim and we'll remove the wall drywall so we can take out all of the old fiberglass insulation how's it going Spencer that's good <laughs> right on man Caked on mouse poop. It's been petrified. I, I'm sorry. I know. I know. People, people. Don't you all want to see this stuff? This is why we do the retrofit to get energy efficiency and make the building smell better. <laughs> That is mouse. I can see a little teeth mark now. I thought it was ants. Jeez, nice find, Spencer. Hit the gas one more time, and I'll break you. Hit the gas one more time.
Good morning, day three from COA here. And today they have a great Earth Day challenge going on. So it's really cool that we're doing energy efficiency work when they're having this you know, major fundraising push. Anyway, I'm really excited to get back on site here. Today we're continuing to gut um, the ceilings and walls. So it's gonna be another day of nasty, but once it's done, most of the dirty work will be over. Stay tuned. Oh, I had to cut it short yesterday because my phone died. Tell me a little bit about what you do with the college and why you're here today. I, um, well, it's been actually kind of a long road for me to get here. I started working with uh, the energy framework and uh, tightening up, coming up with a plan to tighten up our buildings and use less fossil fuels when I was doing my graduate work. And so I started that, that was part of my uh, fellowship work, really. And so then I've been studying and staring at these energy audits that you did a couple years back, 2015 maybe? Right. 14? I don't yeah, remember. 15, yeah. Um, so a little, little while back and I've been pouring through them, anxious to get my hands on these buildings for, for a little while now. So I finished my graduate work and I'm working at COA, uh, running the Community Energy Center, which gets and connects students and community members through energy projects. And is this your first uh, opportunity to do to be part of an energy efficiency retrofit or do you, have you had experience with this a little bit in the past? Um, experience with a little bit in the past, but this is the first one on COA. One on COA. Right on, Andrea. Thank you so much for your help today. Thank you. Yeah, oh yeah, it's been, it's been a blast, man. Look at all this demo we've done. Oh my God. Yeah, baby. We are so very, very close to having all of the demolition component of this job completed. Um, we've torn off almost every stitch of ceiling drywall. We were able to save this bit of ceiling drywall because there was no blocking in the way and we could just pull the fiberglass out and push it down from the attic. So that'll save us a little bit of time and, and money when we go to reinstall drywall. Ah, it's Friday. We're all hot and sticky. We're doing our final cleanup and a small bit amount, small amount, a little bit more work. It's been a great few days. I hope you've had fun and I hope you've learned something. See you in a couple weeks. Mm. After work cookie, always really good. Uh, I have to say I am beat. I'm sure that Spencer is too. Um, and I'm glad that we had some students helping us today because they get a real taste of the dirty work. You know, I think it's important that we showcase all of the glamorous stuff like the the blower door testing and the energy auditing and all that, but it's equally important to let people know that there's always a bit of dirty work in, you know, energy efficiency. And there's labor and there's uh, there's hard labor sometimes. And that's what we experienced today, but it was a lot of fun. So I'm heading back to Whitefield uh, about 6.30. I should be home at about 10 o'clock. See you all in about a week and, week and three days. Four days, maybe two weeks. Why don't you have a model for me, Mrs. Kensington? You know how Mr. Kensington feels about that. 
Oh, behave. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, baby. Yeah.